Hello everybody, my name is Nicola and welcome back to my channel. This is The Frugal Cottage where we talk all things money to help you on your financial journey. Today's video is all about my dividend income update for August 2020. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get started. So again, another month where things just aren't as good as they perhaps should have been at this stage. I have had three different companies not pay out during August that did in the previous year. So obviously that makes an impact on my overall goal. However, as I've mentioned in other videos, I'm just continuing as normal with my strategy for now. If in another kind of couple of years, things are still not paying out as well and things like that, I will change my plan. But for now, I'm just going to keep it how it is. And hopefully things will start to pick up as we go along. So this month there again are only two companies that I've paid out during the month of August. And they're not the biggest paying ones that I have either. So the first one actually is a fund and it is the Legal and General US Index Fund. So when a fund pays out, they tend to pay out once a year or twice a year. This one actually pays out twice a year. Index. This one paid me £19.23 in the month of August so you know not a bad start if I thought of that in terms of mobile phone bills that would pay my husband's mobile phone bill so that's not bad the other one that paid out is a company and it is a Vodafone and Vodafone paid me 20 pounds and 40 pence now if you've not seen my kind of how I track my dividends I'll leave a link below to that video for that it just shows how I track them over time, how I see what months have what in, how I look at terms of I need to hit more dividend income in these months than others. And it just shows you how I've tracked this from day one of dividend investing back in 2016. So my first dividend income payment was I think February of 2016, which seems like quite a long time ago, I'm not going to lie. But this is my dividend income for August and the total for that feels like a really small total so it's £39.63. Now £39.63 in total will pay my phone bill and I like to link dividend income payments to bills, to fixed expenses. And the whole reason behind that is again to do with our investment journey to building that dividend income stream to cover our fixed expenses and when we get to that tipping point that's when financial independence kicks in and we could retire early should we want to which is the aim in the end. So as you can see my aim is a thousand pound a month and this month is 39 pound. I don't have to point out that that is a ridiculously small amount and so, so, so far away from where we want that to be. But like I said, this year has been particularly different. I calculated this year at the start of the year and all of the months should have grown by a bit and definitely shouldn't have gone backwards, which is what it feels like at the moment. So we'll continue on. I do think that dividend investing is the strategy I still want to do, but I'll be honest, it is a bit disheartening when you see all these companies not gonna pay out their dividends. But like I said, I'll continue for the next year or so, and if it doesn't appear to be going back to paying dividends, then perhaps I will look at my strategy for the longer term, but we will see. So my total now, Bear in mind this is for August, so this is at the end of the 8th month of the year. We've only got 4 more months left, 4 more months of dividends. My total at the moment is £451.34 received in total for the year. Now my aim for the year was £1,600 in dividend income received. When I set that aim back in kind of, I did it at the end of December, 
I'd sat and worked out, projected what I thought I would get during 2020 and that was not too far off the mark. You can see now, <laughs> I am so far from that point. So far. In fact, unless a miracle happens, I ain't going to get to £1,600, I can tell you that for free. So, we'll keep plodding on. We'll keep tracking and investing and doing the same as always and let's see what happens. But that is my dividend income update for August of 2020. Let me know if you've got any investments. Have you received any dividends this month? Let me know how you're getting on. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you again very soon.